In Willacy County, there is now a push to test all county inmates for the virus. This after a second jail employee tested positive for COVID-19. Channel 5's Monica De Onda with the latest plan of action. Willis County officials tell us those two employees who tested positive for COVID-19 are both jailers here at the Willis County Sheriff's Office. And since that first positive result, a plan of action was started in conjunction with the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and the State Health Department. We're moving as quickly as we can to, to contain the uh, outbreak. It's a race against time. One that Willis County Emergency Management Coordinator Frank Torres says was taken very seriously since the first jailer tested positive last Friday. Deputies and the jailers constantly work with each other and uh, cross paths. Because of the close contact between employees and inmates, the county tested all 46 employees on Monday. So far, only two jailers are in isolation after testing positive for COVID-19. As for the 42 inmates... We've been working with the TDCJ testing team uh, since uh, Friday afternoon, and we just got off a conference call with them as well about an hour ago. So, and, and that's moving as fast as possible. We're Torres says only one inmate has shown or expressed symptoms of COVID-19. That individual was tested by a local physician and is in an isolation cell. We currently have two isolation cells. They've been designated exactly for that. <clears throat> and they're, uh, uh, they're totally separate away from what we call the pods. Major Andres Maldonado tells us the contact between inmates and jailers is inevitable, but precautions have been taken with temperature checks to inmates and staff done twice a day. Interaction between inmates has also been limited to only those in their same pod. No intermingling. We're going to take care of our employees and we're going to make sure that, that our inmates are taken care of as well. To make sure that we contain uh, the outbreak that we think we're experiencing at the jail uh, as much as possible. As for the cost associated with the testing of inmates and staff, Torres says the county is prepared to pay for it if they have to but they're hoping the state helps out. Torres also tells us they hope to get the rest of the inmates tested by the end of this week or the beginning of next week. In Willacy County, Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.